Hi everybody. Before you get into breeding your crested geckos, one thing you should be aware of is that crested gecko females store sperm. They're pretty much sticky little sperm banks. That means that breeding a female to a male just once can carry her through a few months or more of laying. This sounds great, but it's not a good idea to keep a female laying all year round. Laying eggs every month takes a toll on the body, since so much calcium goes into producing the eggs. It's highly recommended that you give your laying female a resting period of at least a few months a year. We call that rest period cooling. There are a few steps you can take to encourage your crested gecko to stop laying. You can try removing the male from the female's enclosure. This works sometimes on its own, but again, females can store sperm, so it may not work every time. Other steps involve creating a sort of winter in your home. Winter tells your gecko's body to go, okay, breeding season's over, everybody out of the pool, and they will generally stop producing eggs. It doesn't get super cold where Cresties come from in New Caledonia. Average cold temp is around 68 Fahrenheit, so it's not like you have to break out the fake snow machine. It's fairly simple to simulate their winter. First, reduce the photo period. That means make their daytime shorter and their nighttime longer. That's generally what happens when winter rolls around anyway. The sun sets earlier and rises later. If you get light for your crusties through a window, you can often just let nature take its course. If you give them light through artificial lighting, this means turning the lights off earlier and turning them on later than you usually would. Next, and this is where the term cooling comes into play, and it's also where some younger folks who don't run their own households get into trouble because parents don't always understand when you want to keep the house cold for some lizards. You can lower the temperature of wherever you're keeping your crusties. If you were keeping them at about 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit during the breeding season, lowering your temps to about 70 or maybe a little bit lower can often encourage them to stop laying. I've had the best luck at around 68 degrees. But I also know of some folks who had trouble stopping their females from laying, even with lowering the temps. So you do need to be aware that your gecko's baby making switch might get stuck in the on position. Keep calcium supplements on hand for when you're feeding live food and read up on how to supplement a laying female. The temperature change and lighting change thing is why it's easiest to allow your crusties to breed during the late spring, summer, and early fall. If you're trying to get your geckos to breed during winter, you're going to have to battle temperatures. If you start your female breeding in late autumn, you're going to end up needing to cool her when it's hottest out in the summertime, so you're going to have to crank that air conditioning to get her to stop. And no, it's not okay for you to let your female breed year-round, so please don't think about it. She deserves a rest.